at the second spot here on the pond today. A few things I wanted to talk about with you. Uh, just starting this new YouTube channel. We're going to do a bunch of fishing and pranks, whatnot. Uh, also, we're going to start doing, hopefully doing giveaways, whether it be lures or gift cards or just odds and ends stuff that we're going to be doing. And we're going to start doing them at the end of every month. And then once we grow a little bit more and, you know, get a few more subscribers and views and stuff on our channel, we can push it up to every two weeks, something of that. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is the app, mobile app fish locator for your phone. That's a new thing that I've actually started using, and Roger is one of the people that work, or I'm not sure if he owns it or not, but has been extremely helpful with their app. I mean, you constantly you can win stuff, whether it be free upgrades on the app, uh, jerseys, just odds and ends stuff. So anyone watching this video, if you do get a chance, download Fish Locator app and actually try it. It shows you all the spots in your location where people have caught the fish, what they have caught, uh, descriptions on what they've caught their fish on. I mean, the app has been amazing. Boat docks, bait shops, it's, it's all on there. Uh, and any suggestions on how to upgrade the app or what could make the app better, don't hesitate to send him an email. Roger will be more than happy to email you back and discuss possible changes in the app. Anything to better. He is really, really a person that's trying to put his app out there. He's helped me. I've already won my free upgrade. I've won a free jersey. I mean, I talk to this guy by email at least once a week. It's been a great app so far that I've used. Uh, there's a couple other ones out there, you know, like that fish brain and stuff that I've tried and didn't care for. But yeah, this that fish locator, man, that's that's the app. That's the way to go right there. I love it. Just the tons of stuff that you can do on there. The giveaways he does for good advice on catches. Just if you are watching this, take an extra four or five minutes out of your day, download it, and check it out if you're a fisherman. It can't hurt to try something new. Also, on top of that, my buddy Clayton that's out here with me today, he's eventually, he's going to get his camera and he's going to try to start his uh, YouTube channel. We're going to start doing like challenge videos versus each other, uh, possibly set up a P.O. box where you guys can send in lures and stuff for us that you want to challenge each other with. Uh, it's just going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. But with it being late in the year, it's slowed down a little bit here and there, but it's not going to stop us. I'll fish it until this place is a complete chunk of ice and you can't cast. And you, we will be jumping around from spot to spot on the pond, so if it cuts out and we go into the next spot, I'll let you know when we do switch. That way it's not so back and forth. You at least know where we're at and when we've changed locations on the pond. But uh, we do a lot of pond hopping up the side of the highway here on private ponds that we've got permission to fish. Um, it's been, honestly, this is one of my favorite places like this is the fish these little stock dugout ponds that people put in. There's just so many fish, it's just ridiculous. Huge crappie, bass, uh, catfish, which I will try to post a picture of that in here. I caught a 7 pound, 24 inch uh, channel cat here last week on a Rapala, no to the left. It was, it was a pretty insane day. Very first cast of the day, too, and caught that big catfish. Yep. Look like a crappie or something that jumped out there. Went my rooster tail. Yeah.
Yeah, it happens from time to time. Here at the third spot, uh, go try to fish this down tree here and see if hopefully maybe on the end of it where all the shrubs off of it, maybe there's a few laying down in here that we can snag into and caught a lot of big crappie right here off this down tree in the water. Had a lot of snags here too though and lost a lot of bait in the same sense. I could probably pull that tree out of the water and there'd probably be 15, 20 lures on the end of it out there. But why do that and destroy fish habitat? That's, that's what brings the fish to me. Well, probably the end of this spot here. Move on down the bank. I always come to this way. Bye. Here at one of the last, probably one of the final spots for this evening. It's getting pretty dark, cold, the wind. Sorry about the audio if the wind's annoying. Uh, like I said, for people that do like and subscribe and leave a comment, the end of every month I'm going to pick out a winner, and whether it be a couple lures or maybe a $20 gift card or something, I do plan on doing a giveaway at least once a month and then you know later on once the subscribers get a little better to every two weeks this and that and sorry for all the background noise the traffic off the highway here is a little on the noisy side so like I said like subscribe comment and that enters you in automatically for the giveaway of whatever we're doing for that month you know lures all that let's get back here and fish for you no know, 10-15 minutes to see if anything's gonna bite There's a lot of traffic coming up through there today. Little fish jumping. Jumpy, jumpy. You can come over here and jump on the bait if you want to. I don't care. I catch a bluegill right now. I ain't caught nothing today. Get out of this stunk street.
bluegill from here? Oh yeah, there's huge bluegill in here. I'm trying not to catch them as much as possible. <laughs> It's get so cold you can see your breath and Yeah, I think it's gonna be the last spot of the day. I bounced that off that log hard. <laughs> 